There was always somebody that did something wrong. Whether they did or not, there was a reason for her to have a problem with them. I was called that afternoon to her house. She said, I notify him that we have war, that he's no longer my friend, he's my enemy. So from this point on, if you see him, shoot him. Rivy and his people were deployed in this area. But it wasn't going to be easy, because he's good. We make a mistake. We won't get him, or we're going to get killed by this guy here. Rivy, a driver, and a second gunman were in a white van. I was going to be the shooter, so I got an M16. And I just told the driver, when you get near him, you know, window to window, let me know. And I fired through the door. Because I knew I opened the door when we were moving, he was going to know. He knew all the tricks. Chucho opened up the garage door, drove out of his garage onto 168th Street, and then drove west towards US-1. US-1, where the light was, it was about half a mile away. So we had plenty of time. Somewhere in this area would have, would have been where they would have, you know, caught up with Chucho, gone parallel with him, both westbound and to the left. Right. And I grabbed the machine and I started shooting his tires, trying to blow his tires out. He lost control of the car at that time. He almost hit a wall, but he took control and came back on the road this time. And it's about that time they're approaching US-1. By that time, we were real close to the red line. It was a gas station on the right-hand side. You see, approach US-1, Chucho then cuts through this gas station parking lot at a real high rate of speed, goes north on US-1, and that's when he loses the guy shooting at him. Well, look everywhere. We didn't see him. So we just left. We said, you know, Fucked it up.